Super Mario Maker was probably the best thing to come out of the Wii U. Although the Wii U wasn't the greatest selling console, didn't mean it was a bad system. In fact, the main thing going for it was the gamepad. Not too many games use the gamepad a lot, but Super Mario Maker used it to its full potential. Now the sequel is on the Nintendo Switch, let's take a look at the new features and modes and how the Nintendo Switch delivers comfortability when building levels. Let's take a look at Super Mario Maker 2. Super Mario Maker 2 is probably the most user-friendly level creation tool ever created. Handheld mode is probably the easiest way of building levels. When using a stylus, it was very easy and I found there wasn't a learning curve to it. But in docked mode, although not the easiest to get a hang of, it does work too, but I didn't absolutely like it and I thought it was quite annoying to use, especially when I didn't know all the controls. The level editor is really well designed. All course parts are unlocked right away compared to Super Mario Maker on the Wii U. You just select make and you are immediately brought into the course maker. The new wheel system offers for a lot of objects to be easily selected. Each set of wheels are also categorized to make searching for the course part you want easier. There are so many possibilities that it took me a while to figure out which course parts I wanted to use to create my level with. By holding down on an object, you are able to customize it even farther. You had to shake the object on the Wii U gamepad or the 3DS, but now it's really simple and not gimmicky in the slightest. You just hold down and select a different object. There are five game styles to build your level in. There's Super Mario Bros., Super Mario Bros. 3, Super Mario World, New Super Mario Bros. U, and Super Mario 3D World. Super Mario 3D World is the newest theme this time around. And it's separate from all the other four styles as there are different mechanics and blocks that are exclusive to it. It is a shame that some of those blocks and objects didn't make it into the other styles, but when you see how many objects that there are, that annoyance quickly melts away. There are 10 themes in each style and night variations of those themes as well, which makes for a total number of 90 different looks for your level. These night themes offer unique mechanics and physics that are sure to change up the Mario formula. And some themes have their own unique mechanics like the forest and how you can change the water level. You can also set clear conditions and special auto scrolls to make your levels really unique and extra challenging. The level creator also has music and sound effects too, so you can really go crazy with them. When you are finished with your level and have uploaded it, it will go to the Course World, which is an infinite land of Mario levels. The Course World really keeps you playing and playing as you always want to play another course that appears. There are different categories to sort by, including a specific sorting option. I like to go easy most of the time, or normal, but some of you might want to go super expert or even expert. However, one thing you can't do is search by the name of the level, which is a real shame because you instead have to use friend codes. It's 2019 Nintendo, come on. But the great amount of levels from the community has really surprised me, as a lot of them are really well done. If you like the course, you can also give it a like or a boo. And you can also leave a comment to warn others. If you are going offline, you can download courses as well, which does come in handy. If you want to play as a different character, you can select the settings icon and choose between four different characters. With those characters, you can play with your friends on the courses you make and the courses that you download from the course world. But sadly, you cannot play with a friend directly 
in the course world. You have to download the courses you want to play, which is quite annoying. And it can get tedious. But if you have no one to play with, you can dive into network play. When it comes to 4 player online, co-op and competitive play, it is a fantastic idea, but it falls short in terms of the Nintendo Switch online service. Each time I booted up a round, it was extremely leggy, up to an unplayable point. Sometimes I would even have communication errors just trying to load up a game, or while I'm playing a game. It's quite annoying. Of course, many people might experience different results, but for strong Wi-Fi and talking to others, I came to the conclusion that the online service ruins the multiplayer because people are connecting to each other rather than to a server. Hopefully this changes in the future and it becomes a lot smoother to play, but as of now, it's not very good. Also, another thing that apparently is confirmed is online multiplayer with friends, but it will come in a future update as well. Of course, that will not count towards the score. I'm still going to complain that that's not in the base game because that should be, that should be there. But of course, uh, we won't really emphasize that too much. Now, on to some other modes. This time around, the 100 Mario Challenge is replaced with the Endless Challenge. In that mode, you had to survive as long as you can with 100 lives. And of course, you had a set amount of courses to play with the ability to pass a course if it was too difficult. Now this time, you play endlessly and you gain lives by getting 1-ups. It's a really good mode and definitely a challenge as you always are in for a surprise each time that you play. If you want a break from all the levels on Course World and want some inspiration from professionally designed levels, then go to the story mode. Peach's castle has been destroyed, oh no, and Mario needs to help collect funds to build the castle. There are some excellently designed courses here that will show you the things that are possible in Super Mario Maker 2, which you can try and use in your own creations. Some of the levels here are puzzle-based and some of them are using clear conditions. There are also some unlockables in the story mode, which is why it is worth it playing, and you will learn a couple things on the way. Speaking of things to learn, you can visit Yamamura's Dojo to learn techniques both basic and advanced. These lessons don't take long and show you some cool ideas and techniques. Overall, Super Mario Maker 2 is possibly the best 2D Mario experience, filled with lots of content and infinite levels. Although the online multiplayer may not be great and friend cones are definitely unnecessary, it just works as well, if not better than the Wii U, and is definitely a must-have title for any Switch owner. Which is why Super Mario Maker 2 gets a 9 out of 10. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, be sure to like, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe to see future videos and reviews and everything Nintendo. And I will see you guys in the next one.